Hello everybody, uh, this is Sin City Preacher. Uh, you can just call me Brother Luke. The video today is about witnessing. Let's call it uh, Witnessing Why and How. First of all, why should we witness? Why should we tell people about Jesus? Well, let me ask you. If you saw a blind man walking towards a cliff, would you just remain silent or wouldn't you shout out a warning to him? If you saw someone's house on fire and you knew they were sleeping inside, wouldn't you warn them their house is on fire? Wouldn't you try to rescue them somehow or kick their door in, scream to them, come out, your house is on fire? Or maybe you just say, well, it's none of my business. What if you knew someone was very sick, deathly ill, and you had the medicine that would heal them? Would you withhold the medicine and say, I don't want to get involved? I hope not. Well, if you are a Christian, if you're someone who believes that we are all sinners and because of our sin we die and go to hell, And the only way to get reconciled with God is to put our faith in the Son of God as our Savior. If that's what you believe, then, then you are saved. And I would like to ask you, can you remain silent? while your friends and families go to hell? Can you just sit back and say nothing and just let the ones you love go to hell? Or will you make the effort, make an effort to at least tell them the good news? I would hope that you you care enough about your friends and family that at least you tell them the good news about Jesus Christ. So, um, I'm going to encourage you to make the effort to witness at least your friends and family. Now, how should you go about doing that? Well, I think a, a good starting point is just um, a, a series of uh, diagnostic questions. Uh, we can ask them some questions that we allow us to uh, diagnose their condition. We can determine if they're saved or not, and uh, you know, even if they want to even have the conversation. But at least let's let's make the effort by asking some basic questions. Uh, I would just say that uh, a friend of mine or family member, uh, I would just ask them that um, do you do you want to go to heaven after you die? Now it seemed like an obvious question. I mean, what it seemed like anybody would want to go to heaven after they die. But I've asked that question to many people, and some people actually say no. And if they say no, they don't want to go to heaven after they die. Um, well, we, we can't make them have that desire. And we can't make them believe in Jesus either. But what we can do is tell them the good news. So if someone tells me they don't want to go to heaven after they die, I say, well... That's, 
that's your choice to make. But, you know, someday you may change your mind. You may decide you do want to go to heaven. So, uh, if you decide you want to go to heaven, I want you to know the way to get to heaven. Do you know the way to get into heaven? What is the way to heaven? What must we do to be saved? What must we do in order to go to heaven after we die? Do you, do you know the answer to that? Now, most people are going to say that uh, in order to go to heaven you have to be a good person or you, you have to uh, join a religion or perform various religious acts. <clears throat> but as as we know, as Christians, we are not saved by the righteous things that we do. We're saved because of our faith that the Son of God, Jesus Christ, paid for all our sins. We're not saved by what we do. We're saved by what we believe. So we need to make them understand that, that no matter how hard we try to be a good person and be religious, perform religious work, uh, none of that can save us. So, the Apostle Paul was asked the question by the Philippian jailer, what must I do to be saved? And if, if you want to know what you have to do to be saved, I'll tell you what the Apostle Paul said. He simply said, believe on the Lord Jesus and thou shalt be saved. Believe on Jesus. Now what does it mean to believe on Jesus? It simply means that you are putting your faith on Jesus. You are depending on Jesus. You are relying on Jesus entirely for your salvation. The Bible says, Whosoever calleth upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Anyone who will call on Jesus Christ for salvation, if you go to Jesus and say, Jesus, I need you to save me. I believe you paid for my sins. When you put your faith in the Son of God for your salvation, you receive the gift of salvation at the very moment that you believe. So, if you want to know what you must do to go to heaven, you must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ for your salvation. Believe that you're a sinner and He's the Savior. Believe that the Son of God died on the cross and He paid for all your sins when He died on the cross. And you know, after He died, they buried Him. And after three days, he rose from the dead. He, he rose from the dead proving that he had power over death and life. He said that no one can take his life. He said he would lay down his life willingly. So he willingly laid down his life and he proved he has power over death and life because he raised himself from the dead. So, the resurrection tells us that Jesus Christ is worthy of our faith and trust. Because if he did not get raised from the dead, how can we count on Him to give us eternal life if He couldn't even give Himself life? So, the resurrection is what gives us confidence that Jesus Christ is God. Jesus Christ is the Savior. Jesus Christ does have the power to give us eternal life in Heaven. So that's what you need to tell your friends and family. So I hope now you're encouraged and motivated to tell those 
and who you love, how they can get into heaven. Thank you.